I decided to make a fuel polishing uh, of the boat. Um, I did have problems with the tanks. Uh, over 10 years ago I got the old bug on that. Increased the size of all the fuel lines and put in twin filters with uh, uh, quick changeover valves and uh, annually putting in the uh, that biocide and I haven't had any problems. But now that uh, it's probably 15 years since I opened up the tanks and cleaned them I thought it's time to find out what, what, what the state of the tanks are so I've made up this little system. Now I googled and YouTube. there's plenty of uh, information on it out there and, and my system is this, instead of the racker, uh, I purchased this fella, 500FG, uh, a Chinese copy. The real McCoy would be, what, oh, 250 euros, this was 60, so for what I'm doing, uh, this will do the job. And uh, a little fuel pump. This little fella on uh, Amazon, Carbol, uh, 12 volt. It came with a, a pre-filter, but um, I decided to take that off. I didn't want too much friction on the suction side. Now I did fit one of these uh, disposable um, filters on the suction side. One of these little uh, sub-priming units. So come up from the tank through the, that and on into the inlet into the filter outlet then through the pump and I have uh, about two meters uh, six feet of um, eight millimeter ID hose what's that in all money about five sixteenths or something um, and then this comes with a sharp of the cable but I had this cigarette lighter in the junk box uh, it's, it's handy in as much as that you can turn on and off there and I have um, an extension a five meter extension cable which I can connect into a cigarette port on board so that's that's it basic I've just made up a small frame for it the filter has no um, marking on it even but it does say it's a 2010 TM 10 micron filter I ordered the uh, in micron and 30 micron filter elements. Um, I uh, cut out a slot for a little handle so that it's portable, and uh, all the hoses are uh, all the hoses are tidy there now, so within the envelope of the timber frame. Now all this is a 10 millimeter ply. So yeah, we'll see how it works out and how how clean my tanks are. Right, sir. Uh, we're set up now. Already I can see a bit of crudge at the bottom of the filter. Now whether that's just what would have been in the, the sump pan itself. This sounds like a, a, a little Lister air-cooled engine. So we we'll leave it run and see what happens. She's just running into the, the filler. I've moved it a bit uh, closer now to the fuel tank so that she wouldn't have as much as a lift. I don't know if that uh, lift primer ball here is restricting the flow um, but it is very handy to, to be able to prime the, uh, the filter. The fuel, um, we used to always have uh, the commercial green diesel but uh, us leisure boaters had to stop using it uh, uh, over a year ago or so. So it's road diesel now that goes into the tank and gradually the green is going out of it. A uh, little bit more clear diesel but I suppose the green diesel helped you to see the water more clearly. It might be more difficult now to spot uh, water in it. Oh yeah, she's pumping away. I don't know if that's the uh, 30 gallons uh, an hour or not. I suppose sometime I, I could measure what's coming out of it. Oh, drawing about one amp. 
I have instruments that are drawing roughly around 200 milliamps, so I'd say she's drawing about an amp. Okay, I've moved over now to the uh, port tank and uh, we're just circulating that one. Now, this is what I got out of the bowl from the uh, starboard tank, and that's not too bad really. There's a little bit of a stuck there. But there again, I'm, I'm very lucky with my. Uh, with our tanks. There's a there's a sump on the bottom of the tank with a, a drain valve so twice a year I take a sample out but the tank is nicely designed with a, a sloping side, side down to the bottom of the tank so that collects everything collects nicely there. Alright I'm just putting it through the polishing rig now and back up to the filler. So I'm lucky and um, what I'll do now is uh, I'll circulate this for about an hour. I did have a look at the filter after the starboard tank and it's okay. And then I'll come back another day and I'll put in the 10 micron and do both tanks for probably two hours. And that should really see me uh, okay. Right, I've uh, changed over to the uh, Rucker. Uh, 10 micron filter now and um, I'll run that through both tanks I don't think they have a great fuel issue this is the, the one I took out now and you can see she's uh, she's uh, fairly clean I don't see much there and again from the second tank just a little bit of her well it is that growth of the the old buggy stuff was what was in the sump. So now we ran a flow test with a graduated container there, and uh, I was getting over about three tests, uh, let's say 60 litres an hour. What's that about 13 to 12 gallons an hour? Um, this is rated for 30 gallons, but really. Um, I have two filters on the suction and have a, a two meter lift so I'm not surprised that uh, the flow would be down. But that's fine. Uh, 60 litres. Um, I suppose I'd have to leave it run for two and a half, three hours for uh, to get a good circulation per tank. Uh, but, uh, I don't uh, see any bad folding but it's good to know.